Howdy folks, today I'm going to show you how to put a load of acid into a new battery. It's uh, something you might do if you have to replace the battery and you get one that is stored as dry cell, which means that it hasn't got the acid in it to uh, begin with and you have to put it in there and then you have to charge the battery to make it usable. So we are going to do that and because it's sulfuric acid, it's safety first. Right, so we have two parts of this. We have the battery and we have the sulfuric acid in the plastic bottles. So these come with this cap here and that will cap off the battery after we put the acid in there. So we just need to remove these and you'll see that they have foil tops on them. Now, you don't need to remove these foil tops, and you shouldn't remove those foil tops because within this battery here, with this uh, little strip that we need to tear off, we have uh, little piercing things on there, and when we put in the, uh, the tubes, it will pierce the foil on the top, and then the acid will go into the battery. We're doing this near a sink just in case, because we don't want to uh, get acid everywhere because that will spoil your day. If you do manage to spill it, you just need to dilute it. Just get plenty of water on it. It's 41% uh, sulfuric acid in this. Um, so yeah, don't get it on your hands. Definitely don't get it in your eyes and definitely do not drink it. So all we need to do is just put those on the cells and just push firmly down and they'll pierce and you'll hear them bubbling in. If they don't bubble, just give them a tap and they'll start to go, they'll, they'll go unevenly. You'll see one of these go down. You can see the bubbles on this one. This one's not actually bubbling yet, but that will start once the air comes out of these other ones. There might be a few fumes off of it, but just don't breathe it in. Okay, so that's going away. You can smell some fumes off of it. Um, so just leave that for 15, 20 minutes just to make sure all of the acid has completely come out of these bottles. And when we've done that, we'll put it back in the plastic bag that it came in and we'll safely dispose of it. So here we are about uh, 10 minutes later you can see that the acid has gone through all of all of this. Now if you get any splashing anywhere on surfaces and stuff, uh, you can neutralise it with baking soda and uh, wash it down with water. Uh, you're supposed to wash these as well, but we'll just put it in this plastic bag and chuck it away, it'll be fine. So, just be careful lifting this out because there may be splashes of acid still in the caps. Oh, we didn't spill anything. So, get that back in there. Get that back in there and dispose of that. Now this, that you didn't throw away, and if you did, go and fish it out of the bin because you need it. This you put over the top of the cells. And once you've sealed this, you don't reopen it. They are maintenance-free batteries. And there may be a bit of resistance put in this side. Just be firm with them. And you can use a hammer just to knock them in. Be gentle, you don't need a lot of force on it. So, just tap those down. Just gently knock them. Don't need to be manhandling them. Now, 
Now some people like to leave these open when they first charge them, I don't because I don't want it to get knocked and I don't want acid to go everywhere. So this is a 10 amp hour battery. So you want to charge it first time through a standard charge, about 1 amp to 1.2 amps and you need to do that for 5 to 10 hours. 10 hours with a completely flat battery will make it fully charged. And then really later on you can do a, a quick charge, uh, 5 amps for a 10 amp hour battery, take about an hour. And there you have it, that is how you make a dry battery uh, usable for your motorcycle or for your car.